This afternoon, I had the great privilege of meeting a Toledo woman who is living proof that there is meaningful life after amputation. It's clogging off organs mm -hmm. of the skin. In April 2010, Eileen Uberoth and her husband Peter returned from a vacation to Florida. A couple of days later, Eileen began to feel flu-like symptoms. By the time doctors could figure out what was wrong, there was a devastating diagnosis. Come to find out, I had had pneumonia and um, septic shock, and which triggered this DIC, so I lost all the blood flow to my hands and my legs. She was going to lose something, and my prayer was that I not have to make the decision by myself, mm -hmm. that, that she would be awake mm -hmm. and know mm -hmm. that you know, we're going to maybe lose your feet, maybe mm -hmm. lose your hands, your mm -hmm. fingers. We didn't mm -hmm. know. Eileen says she never got depressed and never felt that her life was over. She got fitted with prosthetic legs at Perry Prosthetics in Perrysburg, and they are now in the early stages of working on getting her prosthetic hands. The owner is Chris Perry, who lost his right leg in a motorcycle accident as a teenager. And everybody has the, the potential to get back to doing the types of activities they did before. Um, the biggest determining factor is, is not the technology, it's not my experience, it's not my willingness to innovate, it's the human will. Eileen was sad to hear that some of the people injured in Boston on Monday had to have their legs amputated. She knows they have a long recovery time ahead. People think you just get your new legs and you walk, but it's um, a lot of work, a lot of exercise, and, and it helps if you have great family support, which I had. Yeah.